Coming up on Mountain News this morning, experts are saying pedestrian vehicle death is rising in the Commonwealth. And Nebrock had a special surprise in store for the people of Corbin that will last for years to come. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfee. The time is 6 o'clock on August 15th. Now let's check in with Chief Forecaster Brandon Robinson for a look at your forecast this morning. And Brandon, the rain is on its way out. The sun's on its way in. Looks like a pretty good week ahead. Yeah, after we get past this morning into the early afternoon hours, I think we see the sun shining bright over our old Kentucky home. But for the most part, we're going to be seeing those dreary conditions this morning. Let's take a look at Whitesburg downtown. Dry, but again, the clouds are still hanging tough. The front is just to the east of Whitesburg, going through parts of southwest Virginia right now. Hopefully, once that clears out, the skies will clear quickly with it. Down to 66 in Somerset, 68 Irvin and Moorhead, 69 Ashland, but still in the 70s. Many locations, including our warm spot this morning in Monticello at 73. A little cooler as always in southwest Virginia. Dew point still up there, but look at Irvin, already down to 61. So that's a promising scene as we head the first part of your day. Anything above 65 or 70 is still pretty soupy. Clint was down to 49 already. Pike will just drop to 70. So again, that front's doing its work. It's just taking a little while. This afternoon, some late day sunshine possibility. I hope it's going to be late day sunshine because we need some of that. 79 daytime high. It's going to be cooler behind the front. Should be nice for the rest of the week too. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Olivia. Brandon, thank you. Deputies say a Floyd County woman on the run for months has been arrested. 33 year old Nikki Spurlock walked away from a hospital in May. She was wanted on nine warrants. 31 year old Sean Spurlock was also arrested. Both were originally facing numerous drug charges. They were taken to the Floyd County Jail. A golden alert was issued last night in Clay County. 19 year old Joseph Wayne Felton was last seen Saturday night on Hogskin Road in Manchester wearing gray or camouflage sweatpants and a gray tank top. Police say he has a history of seizures, low functioning autism and schizophrenia. He does not have important medication. If you have any information, you should call Clay County Dispatch at 606-598-8411. Experts say the number of people being hit and killed by vehicles in Kentucky is increasing. Two people died this past weekend after being hit by cars in the Lexington area. We are eight months into this year and 52 pedestrians have been killed in crashes in Kentucky. AAA says the Bluegrass witnessed 48 deaths at this time a year ago. It's very difficult a lot of times to really judge the speed uh, of an oncoming vehicle and so you might think that you have plenty of time and again it's a factor of whether or not they see you uh, so that's very dangerous a lot of times vehicles you know aren't on the lookout for a pedestrian Lexington officials say more than 2 million vehicles travel Lexington's most heavily traveled roadways each day Last summer's flood and recent fires have made many Eastern Kentuckians find other places to live. WYMT's Chandler Wilcox talked to some housing experts about precautions people can take as they look at new homes. There are a few steps that can be beneficial before moving into a new home. Professional inspectors can help. A lot of folks don't want to get under their house. <laughs> you know, they don't want to crawl around if it's on a crawl space. Uh, and that's something that a home inspector will do. Fire safety is important as well, which does not just include smoke alarms and fire extinguishers. Things people really like those double sided deadbolts. You have to have a key to unlock. Fire safety people will tell you that those are deadly because in a fire, if you don't happen to have your key with you, you may not be able to find it. If you are renting, a lease agreement can provide something to fall back on. They outline both to the landlord and the tenant what their obligations are, what their rights are, um, what to do if there's issues with the apartment, as well as what happens if you know there's a lease violation. Mullen says they see many tenants with word of mouth leases, but documents allow more security. I mean, the, the key to a lot of this is keep a paper trail. If every transaction, you know, um, your conversations with your landlord and in addition if you're paying cash um, to your landlord for your rent get them to give you receipts 
or instead write them checks, get them money orders, what have you. With a signed document and inspections, finally closing a door with your belongings behind it can feel safer. And Hazard, Channel Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Scott McReynolds also said that consistently checking your dryer for lint can be important because dryer fires are more common than many people realize. The Nibrock Festival had a special surprise this year that will forever be remembered in the city of Corbin. WYMT's Jack Dimler has the story and the song. A secret. It was probably the best kept secret in Corbin. Revealed at the festival that is a reflection of Corbin. By virtue of my authority as mayor of the city of Corbin, I hereby proclaim that Corbin, Kentucky, sweetest spot of the South, will now and forevermore be the official song of Corbin, Kentucky. Yes. Mayor Susie Rasmus proclaimed Corbin, Kentucky, sweetest spot in the South, the official song of Corbin. You know, you just, you listen to it and you're just like, oh my goodness. I mean, what a perfect encapsulation of everything that if you grew up here or even, you know, even living here now, it talks about past and, and present and it's just, it's so well done and it's so catchy, I can't get it out of my head. A 25 year old poem turned into a song. And it's got the highlights of a lot of things where I grew up in the 60s and 70s. Turned into a big surprise. I was dumbfounded, <laughs> totally shocked. And is now engraved into the city's history. That honor means everything because I love my hometown and the people there are the best people in the world. And uh, it's just an honor. I couldn't believe she even did that. Deborah Forbes Young was also commissioned as a Corbin Colonel and got to hear her song performed live by Corbin native Zach Hart. Uh, that's a thrill and it's a dream of a lifetime. Community members were also given fans with the lyrics on it to join in on the celebration. 25 years, you know, is kind of like an anniversary celebration and it just fit right into, into the Nibrock Festival and all that Corbin is. A song that a whole city can remember forever. But to have a song that's written about a town that is so special to you, it just, it's just awesome. I, I love it and I'm so glad that we had the opportunity to honor Debbie in that way. Honoring a community both past and present. In Corbin, Jack Demler, WYMT Mountain News. Mayor Susie Rasmus says that the song will be played each year at the Nibrock Festival. You can find more information on the proclamation and what it means to the Forbes family and the community of Corbin on our website. Coming up on 608 here on this Tuesday morning, we are almost past the front. Almost. Let's take a look at live pinpoint Doppler radar. Got it zoomed in there basically on southwest Virginia. So the far southern parts of Buchanan, Dickinson, Wise, and Lee counties still getting some pretty good showers. They're slowly moving out, but they're also right there along the frontal boundary. So it's going to take a little while to get past it. Some skies could be clearing behind it there, so we're going to watch out for that as well. Temperatures definitely dropping. 68 Irvin, Moorhead, 68 Somerset, still 73 out toward Monticello but 69 in Ashland there kind of behind the front look at Lexington and Louisville in the 60s as well day planner for today cloudy then clearing should be nice 79 for a daytime high Olivia thank you Brandon and thanks for joining Mountain News this morning more news is on the way coming up July was the hottest month ever recorded and NASA says it could get worse if actions are not taken soon